I'm Amy Bento. Welcome to the Absolute Beginners Kettlebell 3-in-1 Workout. There are three great segments on this DVD. We've got an instructional segment, a beginner's workout, and an intermediate workout when you feel you're ready to kick it up a notch. So, are you ready to learn about the basics of kettlebell training? Then let's get started. Welcome to your instructional segment. So let's learn six different exercises with the kettlebell. So I'm gonna teach you about form, where your body weight should be. I'm gonna teach you about what kettlebell training is all about, and then we're gonna to get to work. All right, so let's go through just a little bit about the kettlebell and the concept of what the training is about. So here's what a kettlebell is. We've got the weighted ball, the handle is on top. So you, when you hold it, you think, wow, center of gravity is really pulling you down but that's what kettlebell training is about. It's about momentum, power, and moving that bell with your body, okay? So the first exercise that we're gonna go through is called a double arm swing. So I'm gonna ask you to stand with your feet apart, your toes a little bit out to the sides, and it's kind of a squat here, okay? So I want you to think squat, and I want your weight in the heels, you grab the bell just like this, and we're gonna start in a down position. So when you start down, this is where you load. You load the weight into your heels, into your hamstrings, and into your glutes. So watch the action that I take to get this bell in the air going forward. I swing it back, and I come forward with a powerful hip motion, and snap the hips forward, and extend the bell forward, all right? So what happens here is you feel the bell dropping. Now that's the weight of that ball, so I want you to make sure that you really whoo, snap your hips forward, squeeze your muscles so that you feel the force and that bell going up. And then squeeze and squeeze, all right? Now let's talk about this a little bit as you put it down, put it down safely and lift up. So when you lift and do that swing, the distance of the swing depends on you and the force you push forward. You can have it come to your chest, your shoulders, or just a little bit at eye level. All right, that's your first exercise. Let's move on to the next one. Single arm swing. So it's the same concept, but one arm. So it makes it a little tougher. So we grab the bell, we come down to the first position here. Remember, load the weight into your heels, into your hamstrings, and into your glutes. Grab the bell, swing it back through, keep your head up, and lift, Whew. lift. Now you can tell, I'm already getting cardiovascular work doing this. <sighs> Lift, don't drop your chest, okay? You wanna make sure that your head is up, you're focused up, your hips go back, your weight is in your heels, and your hips come forward. <sighs> Blow it out, <sighs> all right? And then drop, nice and easy, keeping your core tight when you release that bell, and keeping your quads tight, your butt tight, because they're gonna look great after this kettlebell workout. All right, so that's the one arm swing. Whew, good cardio. Next move is a clean. Now, we're gonna incorporate upper body with lower body, all right? So we're gonna lift the bell. Again, here's the first stance. Hands are always off the knees. We lift it up and we clean the weight right to the side of our body. Whew, so what we do is we keep our wrists straight. We have the bell on the outside. And this is, your elbow is really taut to your body. So you want your wrist and your elbow in a straight line. Now watch, we're gonna kick it down. Shoulder comes out a little bit and elbow comes up. That's a safety tip right there. Again, we're gonna clean it up, <sighs> breathe, and then bring it down. And then clean it up, <sighs> nice and tight to the body, and bring it down. And bring it up. <sighs> now notice how I use my lower body a little bit to get up into this and then bring it down. Use your breath in kettlebell training, that's huge. You need to breathe to get these bells to move, okay? Bring it up, and then bring it down. Now what are we doing when we kick that elbow out a little bit? I like to do it because instead of just bringing the bell up and letting it fall, notice how the gravity pulls my shoulder down. When I can kick my elbow out a little bit, it helps to control that. So I can control the weight coming down. Now. Something else we need to talk about before we move on is the grip of the handle in your hands. And you're saying to me, how do you turn the bell to the outside? When you're lifting and hoisting the bell, 
you want to have sort of a looser grip on the handle. Now, when you reach the top of the motion, that's what we call a crush. Crush on the handle and squeeze and contract your muscles. So when you hear me say crush, whoo, crush. That's an exhale you want to do there because you're contracting and squeezing everything together. All right, so that's the clean. You got that? <laughs> All right, let's move on. The next one is called the press. This is exercise number four. It's the same thing as a clean. You're going to start in this position, which is called the rack position, and then you're going to press it up to the ceiling and then come back down nice and slow. Now notice I'm using my shoulder muscles, I'm using my core, and I'm coming back down. Okay, right to that rack position. So this is the clean. We clean to the rack position, and then we would press from there, pressing overhead and then coming back down. So let's try it with the kettlebell. I want you to see it. Okay, so I'm going to clean to get to the rack position. Now remember, my wrist is not falling over. It is nice and straight. Okay, we want to make sure you don't do that because that's really, you know, can cause injury and you don't want to do that. Kettlebell training, you need to be safe. So think about these things. We're going to clean it up. Here we go. Up, press, and then come back down slow. So what I want you to think about is keeping your eye on the bell as it goes up. Keeping your eye on the bell and then coming back down. Good. And then pressing it up. And you can release your fingers a little bit so you get some circulation there. No white knuckles. Press up. Looking at it. So you have a natural flow of your back and your neck. And lift up. Everything's in alignment. And come back down. Remember how we get out of this. We kick it a little bit and control the weight coming down and then set it down. Okay, Those are that's the fourth one. So let's go on to number five. It's called the jerk, all right? I know it's a funny name, but you'll understand when, why it's called that, when you see it. So let's pick up the bell, pick it up, clean it. <sighs> okay, instead of pressing, and you know how we crescendoed up to the top nice and slow? This time, we're gonna throw it up in the air, and we're going to contract and crush at the top of the motion. So here we go. We're going to throw it up and crush, and then bring it down to clean, OK? And then use your lower body to power that up to the ceiling. Again, and bring it down. So that's the jerk, all right? And again, up, and then bring it down. So I want to do a side view of this so that you see the alignment of my shoulder and my hand, all right, when we go up. Ready? Notice that I'm not back here too far. I'm hovering right over my shoulder. And then come down. Watch again. Lift. And notice how I'm pushing my hips forward as well to support the weight under my shoulder girdle. And bring it down. And come back to the center. And we kick it out for safety. And bring it down. All right. That's number five. You have one more to go. Front squat. Are you ready to squat? All right, so front squat we do with the rack position or we can do with a front position or front hold. Okay, so we're going to do it with a rack position. So let's lift it up and let's clean the bell to the shoulder. <sighs> nice and easy. Remember, my grip was soft and then tight. Crush. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to take this and we're going to squat with it. So you got to keep it here and squat backwards. So I want your hips to face the back wall or your tailbone to face the back wall, come down and squat, and then lift. Keeping your chest elevated and your chin up. So come down, and then come up. Come down, and come up. Okay, now here's another little tip. If you're having trouble, you're feeling a little off balance, because that's what kettlebell training is about, is throwing you off balance. Put your hand out to the side, and that's going to throw your chest up and forward a little bit. Instead of having your arm down, your shoulders tend to come forward. We don't want that. We want our chest to stay broad and forward. So you want to keep it up, keep the kettlebell resting on your, on your chest, and come down and squat, and lift, and pushing and powering through your hips, down and up. Okay, remember, you're exploding into moves here. Down, up, and again, down and up. Here's a side view. Now remember, think power lifter. You're a power lifter, you're an athlete, you're the ultimate fighter. This is how you get powerful. You throw yourself into a move, 
and you explode into it. So you get cardiovascular, <sighs> flexibility training, <sighs> and resistance training all at the same time. Take it out and set it down. So there you have it. You have six basic moves for kettlebell training. So are you ready to take it on? I'm sure you are. Watch this again if you need to. Come back to me as many times as you have to. Form and technique are really important when training with these bells. So let's get started.